Hi, Astroprinters. This video is to help regional coordinators get started with the Astroprint Clusters app. This app has been made very quickly for people in the COVID uh, relief efforts uh, so that they can help scale up 3D printing production in their, in their region. So this video is for a regional coordinator that then is going to manage many makers uh, in their region. Um, so it's important to note that this we made this app very quickly uh, and you may find some bugs and you may find quite a few features you want added. Let us know about all of that because we're doing everything we can to help fight COVID and, and we thank you for being part of that. Now as a regional coordinator, keep in mind you are also a maker in the system. So everything in the video about what makers can do, you can do also. So things like putting in all of your manufacturing capabilities, what machines you have, devices you have, what uh, prints or items you have made and where they can be picked up or have they been delivered, uh, you, you can do all of that. We won't focus on that in this video though, because that's been uh, discussed in the makers video. So things that you can do that people can't, uh, that uh, your makers can't, first is cluster settings. Of course, you can name your cluster, give it a description. You can also create groups. You might not need groups. Not every cluster needs them. This is just if you want to segment out. Um, people will use groups for locations. Like let's say you, you're in the Northeast and you want a group just for Boston, another group just for Connecticut. You could segment that way. Other people might need to group by manufacturing devices. Like, put people that have FDM printers in one group and people that are sewing cloth masks, let's say, in a, in a separate group. Again, you may not need groups though. Now, once your basic settings are there, you're gonna want to invite people into your cluster. Now, these are probably people in your region that you already know and are working with and you want to invite them in. Um, now, we will have a tool here soon to help you find people uh, that you don't know in your region that are looking to help. But inviting is very easy. You just put in their email address and they have been invited. Uh, under edit, you can uh, select uh, what their roles are in different groups and what groups they're in. Uh, so it's very easy to assign and move people around. Oh, there are um, three different roles. Admin, which is what you are, that's a regional coordinator. So you can make someone else and also an admin. You have makers, those are the printer owners, the people producing in your cluster, and carriers. Carriers would be people that are doing pickups and deliveries for you. Under the designs tab, you can add the designs that you want to be printed. Um, now keep in mind, the people you invite to your system cannot add designs. You are the one in control of putting what you need made here and then they can go in and download those designs and make them on their, on their local machines. And then once they make them, they mark them as completed. And then it shows up here as printed and lets you know how many are out there ready to be collected. Uh, and then if you click on those, it lets you know at what location each of, uh, or, or uh, how many are at each pickup location currently. So then you can start to work out logistics on whether it makes sense to send carriers out to pick things up or not. All right, so that's designs, uh, printers and prints, that's the same as makers, uh, shipping and pickup. So here you can also see all of your pickup locations and how many prints are at each one right now. Right. So then again, you may have notes for the, for the carrier, uh, you know, the address and whatnot in here. And of course, different people are running their clusters different ways. Some people have every address of every person in the cluster here because they send a carrier to people's houses to pick up the products. Other people uh, have a few drop-off points like a local hospital or the regional coordinator's house where everyone has to come deliver everything. Uh, so all of that is tracked in here. You can see how many things have been delivered to a particular address. All right, so these are the basic features. It can do a lot more and we're adding new features all the time. 
Uh, let us know if you see bugs. Let us know if there's other things you need to help make PPEs in your area because that's what we want to help with. All right. Thank you.